bull stroke. A few days later, Percy was shunting in the yard at Farquhar when the station master came up. Leave those trucks please, Percy, he said. There's an emergency down at the harbour. The fat controller wants you to go and sort it out straight away. But Toby can't, began Percy. Never mind that, the station master said. The fat controller needs you double quick. Leave us to worry about the shunting. He hurried away to make the arrangements. Bullstrode was a barge used for carrying stone. He was a disagreeable barge. Nothing was ever right for him, and he grumbled unceasingly. Trucks grumbled too, but they went a patch on Bullstrode. Come on, come on, shouted Bullstrode rudely one morning. Why aren't you trucks where you should be? How can I be loaded if you dawdle about up there, eh? There's no engine, and we can only go where we're put, retorted the trucks crossly. You're in the wrong place, not us. They argued for some time, but it made no difference. Bullstrode was in the wrong place, and he was not due to leave until the next day. But he wasn't going to let a little thing like that stop him complaining. When Percy arrived, Bullstrode was sulking, and the trucks were annoyed with him. Our stone is for Bullstrode, they said. Please put us into the siding so that we can load him up and be rid of him as soon as possible. The line slopes down to the harbour. Percy pulled the trucks a little way up the hill, clear of the points. As he stopped, one of the trucks' brakes slipped on. When Percy began to push, the truck started with a jerk and the coupling broke. Four loose trucks, heavy with stone, gathered speed. Help! Help! they wailed. A shunter bravely tried to stop them, but only broke his pole. The trucks rattled along the quay, straight towards Bullstrode, unsuspecting at the end. Bullstrode heard a rattle and a shout or two, but he could see nothing. The first he knew of anything wrong was when four loaded stone trucks shot, one by one, off the end of the quay to bury themselves in its hole. Oof! He exclaimed. But anything else was lost in a gurgle as the trucks burst a hole in his hole and water began to pour in. Bullstrode experienced an awful sinking feeling. Save me, he spluttered. I'm drowning. But Bullstrode didn't drown. As chance would have it, the tide was out, so he did not go right under the water. The trucks were upset at losing some of their friends, but were very little bothered about Bullstrode. Nothing but a nuisance he was, they said to each other, always barging in and moaning about not being loaded fast enough. They sniggered. This time he got his load faster than he bargained for. Serves him right if you ask us. Percy was kept busy for some time afterwards clearing up the mess. When the remains of the trucks had been lifted out of the water, he took them to the scrapyard while workmen rescued what stone they could. As for Bullstrode, when everything else had been cleared, his remains were towed to a nearby beach where they could do no harm. Now, children play happily among the wreckage. If Pulstrode is still grumbling, as I expect he is, the children take no notice.